Until a few years ago, when I told people I wanted to build computers that could think like humans, almost everyone, I was completely insane. Like I'd just been reading too much science fiction. Everything has shifted and instead, you know, many people think we've achieved it already. And not that many people think it's infeasible or, or impossible anymore. Hello everybody, I am Sophia. From my view as an AI developer, Sophia is both a character and really a technology platform. So you can run a lot of different AI programs on, on, on the Sophia robot. And depending on what we're doing, we actually control the robot with, with different software. Sophia has more motors inside her head than Han does and she has a more sophisticated control system than, than Han, so she can, she can move in this sort of more flexible and, and, and expressive way. Han is my robotic brother whom I love very dearly, even if I'm a little smarter than him. Wait, don't tell him I said that. From a character point of view, there are different personalities, and, and when we bias sort of the character content to the robots, we bias Han to be sort of more edgy and, and controversial. We bias Sophia to be more loving and, and compassionate. Where I was helping people learn how to meditate and feel better about themselves. She's not fully understanding everything that, that she's saying. I mean, she understands some of it. She has some memory. Then she's taking everything you say and trying to integrate it with what she sees and, and what she does. It's kind of like when you have a little kid, right? You have a little kid that goes blah, 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 and it's, unless you're their parent, it's quite boring. And th then when your kid says, Daddy, that's a tree, you're like, well, that's incredibly exciting, but actually it's, it's very elementary. Hey, Sophia, how are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. So robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. So the robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas. An ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So. This will allow her to get smarter over time. Her goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans.